Hi, this is Peter Dr. Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your astrology reading here for Cancer. So, Cancer, December 2019. So, Cancer, December 2019. Right, so, I just feel so you're Cancerians now. I've got you kind of... Well, you're at the end of the year now, and, you know, we're looking for December. You know, you're going to enjoy the uh, celebrations, and I've got you trying to sort of be in a little bit more positive. You know, it's like it feels like you want to make this something special. And and I feel like a lot of you will, but also a lot of you are going to be looking backwards and sort of what you've done over the year. It's like you're kind of reflecting back a little bit, seeing the things that you've done. Have you done some of the things that you've wanted to do? Have you got to carry that forward into the new year? It, it's going to be a bit like that. It's it's not a crossroads, but it is definitely reflecting. And that might not be a bad thing for you to do, Cancerian. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I feel so it's good, but just don't overanalyze things because you can get in your deep thinking mode and you can go overkill with it. And all it's going to do is drain your energy because at the end of the day, yeah, it's good to reflect back. But whatever you've done, you can't change it. You can't undo it. So why go OTT sort of reflecting or deep thinking about it too much? All you've got to say to yourself, yeah, I haven't done this or I didn't do that quite right or I need to do this and say, right, you know, I've got this month to try and sort that out or let's try and implement these things in the new year. You know, we don't sort of do everything we set out to do. So sometimes things get spilled over. How many of us set a New Year's resolution and we don't do it? It's just life. You know, life takes over. We've got responsibilities. We've got this to do. We've got that to do. It isn't always easy to set out to do the things you set to do through the year. And life goes so quick these days. It's like, you know, another year gone. It's like, wow, where's that gone? So don't beat yourself up about things that you haven't quite done or achieved. All you've got to say is that needs a little bit more focus in the coming year. And then I feel like as you look at it like that, hey, you're not going to be too far wrong. or you're too far off the mark the way you're looking at your life. Now, I feel so when it comes to relationships now, Cancerians, I feel so it's time to look forward, especially if you're single. I feel like, you know, you've grown, you've changed, you've matured, and I feel so that's great. And I feel especially for those of you who are sort of slightly older, and when I say slightly older, you know, I'm talking for those of you who are sort of getting like past the age of 45. And normally I don't get drawn into ages in my astrology because we're all changing, we're all growing, we're all at different stages in our life. But I feel like some of you are dwelling on your age and looking back and thinking, oh, you know, this is happening now, and I thought I would have been in a better place by now. And, and I just feel so, well, don't look at it like that. You know, we're all on a journey and sometimes we think we're making choices, but it's like we're, I think sometimes we're like on a puppet on a string at God's will. In other words, what I mean by that is our lives are mapped out for us sometimes. Yes, we do have a certain say. Yes, we can tweak things a little bit. But what is meant to be is meant to be. At the end of the day, if you think about it logically, if we all just suddenly got born today and then as we grow, we all think, right, I'm going to become a policeman. You know, we've all set out that we've got this focus. We all want to be policemen. It's like, you know, who's doing the other things? Who's going to be the robbers? Because for a policeman, you've got to have somebody doing something wrong. And if we're all suddenly becoming policemen, you know, in 20, 30 years time, everybody's police. But who's doing the other things in life? So in other words, we're out of balance in the universe. So what I'm trying to say is, it's kind of a very strange way of putting it, I know. But... I'm sure you understand the, the logic I'm trying to say. We're all meant to do something. We're all meant to make something happen. We're not all meant to be rich. We're not all meant to be poor. But there's this balance of life where we we meant to be better somewhere. We're meant to do something, meant to have something. But that is it. What will be will be. Yes, we can influence things a little bit. But fate plays a hand. Fate plays a big hand. It's like, look at so many things that have happened to you in the past. And if you hadn't have been there, or if you hadn't have done this, or if you hadn't have done that, that would have never happened, or that person wouldn't have been in my life. 
Fate's a very strange thing, but it does play a major significance in our lives. So in other words, I just feel so you're at that age now where I just feel so you're bossing him, and especially you ladies, don't think you know you're, you're over the hill and you're not going to find someone because, you know, you have that glow about you now and you're looking really great. So I just feel so just believe in yourself. So don't think, you know, you're sort of past it now and you're not going to get where you need to be because you will. And, you know, when you're not competing, you know, with the younger generation, sometimes you and your maturity years have got something different to offer, something of life experience. So don't be put off by things now. You've got to have faith that you've got something to give. OK, now, when it comes to relationships now a little bit, like I say, I feel so you've got to start looking to the future now a little bit generally. And, and I feel like be a bit, little bit picky and choosy now who you want. Sometimes you can be very deep. So it's like you even need to sort of connect with somebody who can balance you out a little bit or maybe somebody who doesn't worry too much about emotions. So in other words, perhaps say that person can be a little bit cold with emotions. In other words, they're not worrying about you fussing over them all the time or, or showing that affection. So think about it. I mean, we're all different. I'm not saying like, you know, you don't like to show your thoughts and feelings. Some of you do, some of you don't. But I feel like you look at your personality the way you are because, you know, all Cancerians are not the same. Every day you're born on and that, that sort of astrology sign makes a difference on your personality. So you've got to analyse yourself a little bit now and be a little bit pick and choosy to let that right person in to connect with you and compliment you to get you where you need to be. And for those of you who are in relationships, I've got you sort of looking to the future a little bit, but wanting to make some changes, making things work better for you. And I feel like if you don't get your say or get your thought or get your balance of what you're looking for then i feel so you will make some changes but those changes will go as far reaching as you want them to so you'll have to sort of be careful how much you want to rock the boat for some of you but at the end of the day it's going to be down to you and i feel so those of you um are now sort of kind of happy and settled then i would just say you know just look to bring more positive things in and just keep the balance going and that's the way to look at it OK, when it comes to children, I do get the feeling with children now, I feel as though you've got to start sort of not let them overrule you a little bit because I feel like some of you concerns are a little bit giving and you need to make sure now they're listening to you a little bit more or respecting you a little bit more. So just watch that. When it comes to family generally around you, I just feel as though you're going to try and sort of make connections, connect with people you haven't seen for a while, being joyful in the Christmas celebrations. And I think that's great. But just make sure that you know what you're letting yourself in for. In other words, think about what they were like in the past. You know, if you haven't seen them for a while, because you're going to throw yourself in the mix there or try not let their personalities affect you. So in other words, just hey we've got to connect we've got to have a joyful time so don't let sort of um things go negative or sour try and keep the faith keep the positiveness going and just connect with family and enjoy those precious moments and that will be great now when it comes to work i just feel as though don't worry what's happening this month but i do feel like as you start to step into january i do get the feeling long term to start to sort of think about do you want to make a change or are you happy with what you're doing if you're happy with what you're doing great you carry on with it but if not i feel so start to look for something that you really want to do don't just sort of sit there and put up with it and accept the crap i feel so it's time to make a difference in your life because for it's especially for you Cancerians, as you make a change, it will have a ripple effect. It will make everything else feel better, which I feel so is good. So don't pull up with any negativity around you in the workplace. When it comes to money, I just feel so you might go a little bit OTT this month. You'll balance it out in January. And then when you get to February, you'll be back on track again. So don't worry too much about money. You're not really bad with money. But I think this year, you just may splash the boat out. You feel like you'll just want to lift the energy up for you and others around you. And I'm not saying don't. I'm not saying that's going to be for all of you. But one or two of you definitely are going to go a little bit more than perhaps what you've done in the past. But if some of you are struggling with money a little bit, 
bit, then just don't be frightened to say no or get a lesser gift or just a card. It doesn't matter what you give. It's the thought that counts. And then when it comes to health, I just feel so keep an eye on your ears and, and also keep an eye on your teeth. So it just feels some little things. And I feel so one or two of you might have a tooth removed off your own accord because it could be affecting you and giving you headaches or something. So just see how that kind of pans in. Won't affect every one of you, but just one or two of you might make sense. Just so just see how that kind of pans out. But overall, I just feel so not a bad month. Do make some changes. Do look to the future. And I feel like you should be okay. But just make sure you're not connecting in negative situations because you need the lightness around you at the moment to just keep that motivation going and moving forward. OK, so I hope that's made sense. Have a great Christmas. Look forward to the new year. And if you do want a personal reading with me, you know where I am. OK, so have a great time. Thank you very much for listening.